Snappy and a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My Snappy Loon. <laughs> That's just right. So snappy. I'm very snappy. He just walks down the street I'm snapping. snapping okay, swinging. we're being yep. super silly. <laughs> Today we are going seafood. Yeah. You're going to catch the uh, your, your reference here in a moment, like you don't already know. Let's tell them what we're doing. Yes. We're doing our roasted red snapper, snapper with, with olives and wine. wine. We talked about what should we call yeah. this because it's got a lot of so many delicious everything, flavors. It's, all of them are so great. So it, yeah. it, it's roasted red snapper. So let's talk about we're doing fish, obviously. Yeah. And we're roasting them. We're, we've been on a little bit of a health kick lately. <laughs> Just a little bit. And I'm telling you, I'm going to say it again because it bears repeating. Just because you're going healthy does not mean you have to compromise on taste. Right. And this is one of the most, I mean, it is one of the most delicious things we've ever right, made. Right, right. If and it's I, not, we wouldn't make it. We would not tell you about it. <laughs> and because, but really though, this is, this is one of our it's all time so favorites. Good, it's so flavorful and it's, it's so- It's got that wonderful Mediterranean, like it, just those flavors are so good. It's so good. Okay, so we're doing red snapper. So really kind of any kind of flaky white fish you can get your hands on are going to work. We right. love and it's good for your cholesterol. Too. It is. It, yes, it is. Um, <laughs> so red snapper is super delicious. It's just it's got this buttery, delicious flavor. It's so um, good. Like a nutty sweetness. I it's think so. so yeah. Good. So it's the reason it's called red snapper is because it's kind of got this the skin is like a red yeah. hue and it's kind of red when it cooks it's a up. It's pretty it, fish. It, it isn't uh, red at all. Right. And um, now it's it's not well, it's easy to find. I, if you live here in the States and you have access to a Whole Foods, I always get them at Whole Foods. Right. Um, or but, a fishmonger. Uh, yeah. Other substitutes you can do though. And I'm, I, let me just go ahead and say this also. It's not one of the, it's, when you're looking at the scale of cost from something like say a cod, it's going to be a little more expensive than that. But when you taste it, you sort of understand yeah. why. But yeah. other delicious, delicious substitutions would mm -hmm. be cod. Cod. Um, halibut yep. is delicious. Just for the halibut. Just for the halibut. <laughs> um, tilapia, tilapia is good. Tilapia kind of um, gets a bad rap because it's farm raised, right. but I think it's primo. It's uh, delicious. Sea bass you could use too. Sea bass is good. Mm -hmm. Sea bass is on the more expensive side. Right. Um, you can even do something like a really nice steak, like a swordfish, but then you're going to need to cook it longer. longer. But anyway, yes. if you can get some red snapper, go get for it. Get some red okay. snapper. Snapper and snap to it, would you? Okay. <laughs> Let's now, go. Let's all right, do it. So now uh, this, and this is, it's fish, so it cooks really easy. Yes. So I mean really fast. So we're just going to hit it with a little bit of salt. And while I'm doing this, yes. we're going to mix together. What We've was the, one of the key ingredients? Wine. Wine. So We've we got, got some white wine here. Is that a half a cup? It, it's a quarter cup of a nice dry white wine. And I like got some olive oil here. Some good, I actually, I'm keeping it nice and lean. So we've got extra virgin olive oil. Go with quality mm -hmm. and go with a good quality dry wine. How much I, olive oil? It's, um, it is what is, I'm using two tablespoons. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, so uh, go with, I like a Savion Blanc. Uh, you could use a Pinot Grigio, but just go with a nice Chardonnay. dry one. Okay. And you just mix that up like he's doing right there. Okay. This is so easy. My job is so hard. I know, I know, and, but you do it so well. Okay. So now all we're going to do is we're just going to pour this right over the fish. I mean, wow. It really takes a lot of technique to do this. I'm telling you, I hope you're watching that because it's tough. Oh, okay. I love these types of dishes. I know. And just put that, yeah, put that garlic okay, so right now. This is some fresh chopped garlic right on top. Yeah. Do you save half of it though? No. Yes. Would you just <laughs> let me do my thing? So we're going to, this is, a, uh, this is probably two cloves. This is two cloves of garlic. And then we're going to come back with another. We're going to make a finishing, we're going to do a finishing sauce where we add a little more garlic and a little more what I've got right here, <laughs> which is fresh basil. That's why the Loon was making sure I wasn't, you I didn't know. I want you to use all your ingredients. I wasn't, believe me, I'm, a, I'm ahead of you there. Okay, so now <laughs> this once. is some, some fresh basil. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's then, this is about the olives. Olives. We love olives. I love you. <laughs> okay, it's been a long day and we're having too much fun. Okay, so go and find, we, of course, if you want to, if you don't want to do pitted, you don't have to. I, you know, I just would rather not break a tooth when I'm eating my fish. Um, no, yeah, anyway, no, definitely not. It is. Well, you I mean, just, just let people know. Mediterranean sauce. Yes. So we've got Kalamata. And, and then, then some, what are those? Costa Veltrano? Costa, Costa Veltrano. <laughs> I, I always say it wrong. And people are Costa Veltrano. Yes. Costa um, Veltrano. Costa Veltrano. Yes. Yep. They're Italian green uh, <laughs> olives that are so loaded with flavor. Mm. Now, look at that. Isn't that already That's beautiful? Gorgeous. And we haven't even got, we haven't even cooked it yet. So now we're going to, you want this basically by covering it with foil, it's going to just sort of steam 
inside this dish. This wonderful. Oh, and I should also say, this was two, these are like two six or seven ounce fillets. We're just doing it for the two of us. Just the two of us. But um, this recipe, whenever you print it out and you make it, it's really designed for four people. Um, unless uh. you're for two really hungry people like us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've got the, pre the oven preheated at 350 degrees. These are a little on the thick side, so the, it's, I'm gonna let it go for 20 minutes and it should cook it absolutely perfectly. Mm. If you've got thinner, then you could go anywhere from, 10, I would 15. say 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. Um, and you can check it and if it's not cooked, then put it back in, okay? All right. Shut up and let's do this. <laughs> okay. Right. Wesley always laughs at me because I say this is my favorite time of what, when we cook, redoing the big reveal. He's like, this is always my favorite time. <laughs> it is, and it's yours. Too. Your favorite is when you eat. I know. It makes me laugh. He laughs right. at me so I much. I laugh okay. with you. Okay, so now this was. Oh, I can already smell it. So oh, this uh, has been going for 20 minutes. Now you want to do the big reveal? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, it smells amazing. It's incredible. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, those are perfect. Beautiful. Look at beautiful. that. Isn't that just gorgeous? <gasps> gorgeous. Oh, that's great. Okay. So now, actually, I'm going to turn this off. So now, let's make it, let's yes. just do a quick sauce, okay? Yep. So what we're going to do Sorry, is we're just, we need to here. remove the, uh, we're just going to take this, these fillets out of the uh, this dish because we are going to, um, Mm -hmm. Use the sauce. I'm going to cook that sauce down just a hair. Yeah. And, um, okay, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. I can't wait to eat this fish. Okay, let me put these back on because what we are going to do, okay. I'm going to get my little skillet going here, and we are going to transfer all of this deliciousness right into a skillet, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, no technical about this, you know. Nothing. You're just going to kind of dump it in there. Um, that's all there is to it. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna keep on building the flavor. Oh boy, this this little thing right here is wow. it really gets to going. It goes to town. Okay. I'm gonna cover these up. Okay. With some Okay, so oil. now what we're gonna now I told you, so while this is cooling down just a bit, so we're gonna add some beautiful pine nuts. This is a quarter cup of uh, pine nuts. I went ahead and threw these in the toaster and just toasted them up. Uh, just get them nice and keep an eye on them I because they them. will burn. I love them um, so much. I know, and then we've got, remember, this is the, I told you we're gonna put a little more garlic more in there. More garlic. A little more garlic in there, and then we got a little more basil, okay? Mm -hmm. And then what I like to do is I add just about another tablespoon of good quality um, olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. Okay. That looks great. Doesn't that look amazing. Now and I am. We've made some wild rice because this goes perfect with some wild rice. Yes, it's it's delicious with wild rice. We love it. It's also really good if you want if you just want to do like a bed of uh, sautéed kale. That's really good and super nutritious and healthy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh. And you just you're just gonna let this simmer until really that just becomes even more. Uh, flavorful and aromatic, and I don't think it's possible for this to become any more aromatic. No. Okay. No, and I am now going to plate. Okay, go ahead and get to plate. These wonderful I'm gonna move this pieces out of, the way. of fish. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. Oh, and now mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be. Drizzle. <gasps> Isn't that just. <laughs> Stunning. Uh, yes. I would be a little more technical on doing this. <laughs> That's okay. We need a little here, help here. Use this. Okay. You got that. I got this. Okay. Uh, wow, look at those that. Pine nuts. I just now again this is for <laughs> for four people, so we're going heavy on the sauce. But oh my gosh, that is just spectacular. <laughs> have a stray olive. Here, throw those oh, in. Oh, I here. love a stray olive. <laughs> <laughs> I want to um, a girl named Stray you Olive. Know what? I <laughs> She, she was so random. You're making me laugh really hard okay. today. <laughs> oh my um, gosh. This take is a look, crazy. people. Take a look at that. Now this is so healthy. It's so good for you. And I am telling you, when you take that first bite, it's literally, you're gonna be, I will, you're gonna be like, what dining room? I mean, I'm in a, like a fancy restaurant. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a first bite. Oh, and did we, oh, did we say that it's okay? I'm sorry, go ahead. This is perfectly good to, I don't think I said this. Uh, leave the skin on. Did I say that? It, it, it cooks, yeah. it, it's not like chewy, it's perfectly delicious. Yes. Oh, that's so flaky. Plus the skin is healthy for you. It's good, it's mm -hmm. loaded with nutrients. Okay, I'm just oh, gonna go wonderful. in, I got a little olive. Oh my gosh. There are some things that defy description. 
That fish is so flavorful. It <gasps> melts in your mouth? It is. It really, it's like in the same family as like a, a Chilean sea bass yes. kind of thing. That flaky, buttery, delicious. <gasps> Would you say it's fishy tasting? Oh, no, not in the least. I don't like fishy fish. He doesn't. Um, so I wouldn't eat this. This is amazing. Oh, wow. In the pine. <gasps> it all just comes together, isn't it? The I'm garlic, telling... the basil, the pine nuts. Oh. Those, those olives. And it pairs perfectly with this wild rice. Yes, oh. I know. Um, and mm, mm, mm. cooked perfectly. It really oh. is. 20 minutes is perfect. It's so just flaky, fall apart. I it just... is so good. It's so good. And it's 100% Luna Press. Yes. Oh my gosh. That wow, means that I was get... loud. That was loud. I mean, <laughs> the neighbor probably heard that I one. I think the fish out in the sea heard it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the rat snappers. <laughs> mm. Isn't it great? It's heavenly. Oh, y'all. You can get this wonderful oh recipe my gosh, on howtofeedloom.com. So I could just sit here and eat this yeah, all day, I'm and I think to. I will. I'm going all to. right, so go to our social media, like us, share us. You guys, you've mm. got to make this. It's so good. Mm. I love doing seafood. Mm. We Those pine do... nuts. Those pine nuts are so good. And mm. olives. I mean, mm. Mm. Oh, don't you love sitting here like, mm. uh, <laughs> right, We love you. Be safe. Yeah. Eat healthy whenever you can. Make some fish. Make some fish. It's good. Yeah. You'll see food and eat it. Perfect. <laughs> I do that all the time. I do too. <laughs> bye, right, bye, everybody. We love you. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, guys. Now, if you want to be a part of the Loon Fun, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you won't miss a single recipe. Oh, that's <laughs> right. And if you want another amazing seafood recipe yes. like this one, then just click right here. That's right. Click. I mean, you just click. And subscribe. And subscribe. Click, click subscribe. subscribe. <laughs>